Better not be like that level in Mushroom Kingdom Meltdown 2. Okay. Looks a little bit cleaner, but, uh, who knows. Yeah, why was I trying to jump at first? Without even thinking that there would be a vine in that. Beware, though. Whoa! <laughs> also, beware of these spikes. Not only is there water... Man, those look so weird with the new sprites. There's water, but there's also lava in it. Such a questionable sewer. At least the halfway point's right there. But now we go underwater. Where the music changes. Odd context, but... Something a little similar. Hardly feels like you're in a castle at all. That works. Briefly let go of the A or B button that you're using, and you should be able to screen scroll like this. That is in case there are spikes anywhere that will fall. Huh. No spikes, as it seems. Now for a boss that might be a little problematic. It's the usual Resnor, but with a catch. And the catch is obvious. Well, not anymore, because the screen's now black. Let's go down to Mountain Pass. Derived from Yoshi's Island 3, the level. One tip-off was that one... Was that one horizontal and vertical ridge block, or sprite. <laughs> Still like how those, uh... Ah! Well, that didn't work. As I was going to say, I do like the asymmetrical piranha plants. definitely do make for an interesting decoration to a level, although a challenging one nonetheless. Do not let that one block, quote-unquote, squish you like this. Thankfully for this one, there was a pipe. Okay. You think I'm stupid? I'm doing it like that. Huh. By the way, there's no lava there this time. Still, derivative of the bonus room in Yoshi's Island 3. Huh. Hate when Yoshi runs fast sometimes. Can he make up his mind? Probably not. Oh! There we go. Some of them are horizontal only, while others are not. Suspect them all to be vertical, though, if it's... if it's in a bad way. Because then the unexpected... At least you can expect the unexpected, then. Ha! <laughs> Chomper's right there. And the end of the level. Wow. 
Why is there a br why is there a ladder already bef before the castle when I can't even access it yet? Ooh, here is a red Yoshi. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna take my fire flower or my feather. And now I've got a grown red Yoshi prepared for anything. Obviously, you need Yoshi in this level because because of the munchers. I'm going to do this for now. Alrighty. Just make sure you don't accidentally run into a piranha plant when swallowing with Yoshi. Halfway points right up there. Didn't really need to do that, because there's a Yoshi right here anyway. In case I screw up, that is. Why specifically a red one? Eh. Maybe I just wanted to include every color. Probably why there's also a yellow one in the desert somewhere. I see. Bullets that come out of the skull pipes. Good thing it's a red Yoshi, because... At least he won't spit out shells that ricochet back at me. Gotta beware, though. in the daytime. Fine, then. I don't need that. Who knows? Maybe I might, but maybe I don't. Paranoia kicks in yet again. Run and fail. So close. Whatever. Anything other than a green Yoshi is at least unique. Now I'm just stuck with the regular green one. Well, better than no Yoshi at all, at least. Now for ultimate concentration. Oh, no, 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 no. He's telling me I don't need him anymore. I probably do. How long is this level? Hey. This level is surprisingly long. That answers how I would get across that. The bullet bill. You are not trustworthy. <laughs> Although I can see how this level was actually borrowed from Butterbridge 2. The blue Koopas. Those are the similarity. There is the exit. <sighs> and there is the easy path. Now it's over to noteworthy terrain. Since I've beaten this special world, AKA Brain Damaged Finale. It's now apparently in its more polluted state as it looks. Couldn't really think of anything else to call it. Do 
Here's a Yoshi, which we will need for the secret exit. And here is the noteworthy terrain. Yeah. Meh, I guess this would work. Nice little trick. Unfortunately, you can only do it once, because once he spits it out, it turns into fire. Please tell me the piece. Please tell me there was no key in that block. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, too bad. Did I just glitch it? Perhaps I did. why we need this. Rod. I needed a cape, too. Jeez. Talk about refusal. Actually, even though I got the halfway point, I actually went back to the beginning to get Yoshi. So that I can unlock the secret exit here. Even though I can't keep him after beating the level. So that leads to the magical trick house. But first, of course, the normal. P switch right down there, but I will continue on now. Right after this pipe comes down. And that one. And some of them are annoying so that they can squish. That's cold. <clears throat> yeah. I'm suspecting that I'm going to need save states in the level Magical Trick House. Which, by the way, I suspect of having two exits. The Great Waterfall is over there, but the Magical Trick House comes first. And I want saves because, apparently, it's an auto-scroll. How much time did I start with? 500 or 480 or 490? Who knows? There's a cape. I'm surprised you don't see Yoshi in castles more often. The normal GFX doesn't allow for it, but others have actually made it look good. Looked at SMW Central Production, and that was one of the examples of making it look good. This is one of the places where it's kind of awkward to spin jump because there are these turn blocks. Which, as many have learned the hard way, break when you spin jump. Oop. Spiky. Another reason that this level can get annoying. So I see that the magic apparently goes through diagonals. Never thought about it that way. You only saw Magikoopa in castles in the original game anyway. So, how many diagonals were there? The only diagonals were the escalators. So I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know how normal angles would work. <coughs> Wait, no halfway point? Because the halfway point is right here. 
Silly me. So I guess I will be able to tr maybe. Up to the halfway point's probably okay, save status. After which, it becomes crazy. Hey. Okay. But at least everything is visible here. Hmm. What do we gotta do here? Apparently this. I don't care. Whoops. Here we go. Hard to tell what's real and what's fake. Thankfully the coins can indicate to you. Apparently. That, as well as the sprites, and the grass, and many other things, apparently. How much of those other things would I trust, though? We got something up here. Presumably the secret exit. Wait. Oh, there we go. Or an exit. <clears throat> but there's another one to go. This one leads over to Lost Pipeline. But there's a normal exit, too. Of all the levels where FPI could have added a ceiling... Magical Trick House wasn't one of them. You can practically fly over the first part of the level. Let's go ahead and save this again. Fly over this part. The ground can annoy me. No more invisible ground after that. And all right. That leads back to noteworthy terrain, apparently. So next time take on the Great Waterfall.